Hello and welcome back to another one of my videos. Here's the Leyland 26T and I'm going to show you the similarities between the engine that we've put into one of our Nuffields. So this chassis has the recess in the side rail for the power steering pump which bolts onto the casing at the front of the engine rotary fuel pump and go on the other side you can see the uh, oil filter faces up see that in there and the alternator is mounted on this piece here which is part of the cooling system which I'll show you on the other tractor we haven't got so here the engine oil filter is mounted downwards here's the water pipe to the rad what I just showed you and the dynamo is mounted I'm doing a similarity video, video on the uh, Leyland to this lap. And the side rail has been cut to take where the case for the power steering pump would be on the other tractor. Correct? The, the original, yeah, would have been beveled out to take the uh, power steering pump. Yeah, like on the Leyland, that's yeah, got that side yeah. rail. It's got, that's got the recess for the pump, hasn't it? Yeah, it's beveled out to take the. Um, and because you've cut it out here, mm. and you strengthen it with the side. We'll put a bandage on. A I bandage? Yeah, put a bandage on, yeah. That plate to re-strength for the side rail. Has this, got, has this got the oil bar for a element filter, air filter? No, it's dry filter. Dry filter, yeah. Dry filter, element yeah. filter, yeah. So we've got the rotary pump on here as well. I know, yeah. Um, we've fitted this safety feature. Yeah. <laughs> this Little tow bar on the front. The mod there on this side is to stop dismounts on this side, yeah. In case if, yeah, you don't want to catch yourself. So, one, the, foot, uh, one foot doesn't get hooked up under the clutch pedal when you're flying through the air. So, explain to me what you did to the engine to fit this into here. I didn't do anything to the engine, you did. I didn't do anything, the engine went straight in. The engine did. What did you put? What did you have to bolt to the oh, engine? Well, they're, they're obviously they're Nuffield, uh, uh, Nuffield, um. In units bolted to the lane and engine, which fit perfectly. Nice. Obviously, take the laden ones off, put the Nuffield ones on, and, you said and just put it back in with the And you on. said you had to put the flywheel onto the engine. Oh, I, I had to put the Nuffield flywheel onto the engine because of this, this came out of Portlift, which had a fluid flywheel drive. Yeah. So I chucked all that away. Plus, the other end had um, various, uh, again, a, a auxiliary pump um, drive on the front there, which we had to, we had to lose. Various other bits and pieces to again put in the Nuffield. Did that hydraulic pump mount straight off the front pulley of the crank for the hydraulic pump on the forklift? lift? Yeah, there was a bit yeah, off yeah. the end, you lose all that. And then again, put the, the, the Nuffield, the mounting plate on the end of the, um, the front plane, and then it went, just went straight in like the yeah. other engine, with, uh, the Nuffield engine would go into it. And, um, so these are Nuffield bits, aren't they? We just sort of yeah. table. Everything fit perfectly. The, um, did it have a dynamo or not right, on, the, um, on, the, on this engine originally? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, it was, everything went perfectly. I had to put the rocker cover around the other way so they could put the stabiliser bar uh, from the radiator. Oh, yeah, that's a good little Otherwise, feature. Otherwise, with the, the filler cap. fuel cap would have been here, so we swapped the rocker cover around. And that's easy, isn't it? It's yeah, just swap yeah. around. Yeah, I like that. Um, little details. Yeah. Um, that's about the only... Um, Engine we had to do, I, think. Um, I reckon so. This is like, um, I think it's 72 horsepower. I, I think it's 72 horsepower. The load on well, it pulls like so with this, it pulls like 100. So, this will make it a what should we call this? A 472, then? Uh, no, let's call it a 470 because a 460 that's no, 470, isn't it? Oh, 470. 470? Yeah, yeah, let's call it a 470. No. But a 470 would mean it's four wheel drive, but it's not. No, it's no, no, the four is the. Yeah. 
and the 70 is down. But on the Leyland, if it was a 472, it would be four-wheel drive. Um, so that confuses things a bit. Should we call it a two... We, that means we have to call it a 272. Then it's not a Leyland. I don't want to call it... I want to call it 470. We'll call it a 470? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But you could call it um, a Universal 4... Universal 470. I'm going to go for Universal yeah. 470. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have that. Yeah. Universal 470. We'll get the badges made up. Yeah, yeah. How many years has it been now um, converted? I would think we're talking... We got it in 2006, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And the original engine... I would say for nine, at least. At least nine. So you take nine... 2009? 2009? Uh, 16 years, isn't it? 16 years. Because I've got a video of the original engine running, but it wasn't happy, was it? Oh no, it's horrible. You got a, you got a photo, still photograph of it when we first put the, uh, when I first put it together. I think in one of my other videos I said that um, it was stuck and we freed it off and we got it going, but I think the rings were knackered, weren't they? And it's... I think the um, the mask is the mask that's been living with it for. We've still got the original engine, haven't we, on, on its um, chassis, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or do we do we sort the chassis? Yeah. Yeah. Features, features. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Lights. Six sub wheels. And this is a single clutch, though, isn't it? It's a single clutch. Single clutch. Single clutch. Yeah. It would be nice to put a double clutch in it, wouldn't it? Oh, it would make all the difference. Yeah. Getting momentum with the grass with the mower on it is quite an art. Yeah. Quite an art. Yeah, because we use it as the mower, don't you? Yeah, to wind the mower up. She's got the, she's not got the blinds on the front row of the road, is she? This one. Yeah, it's quite an art to get the mower out. You've got to know what you're doing. It'll be. And we call it the hybrid, don't we? We've, we've called it the hybrid all this time. It's hybrid Universal 470. Say that again, don't It's a hybrid Universal 470. Nice. <laughs> yeah, What's your favourite Nuffield? All of them. All of them. <laughs> we love Nuffields. My own favourite ones are ones I haven't got. Right, eh? Ones we don't know. We've yet. got two poorly Nuffields, haven't we? Yeah, we have, yeah. yeah we've, we've got two in for treatment. We've got the Universal 3 and the Universal 4. Three in for treatment, yeah. 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 What, origi what year was this originally? This, what is nine, this? I think it's 1960. This is a 1960? Yeah, I think it's 1960, yeah. 1960, but it's got a metal gator on the... Yeah, they make... Oh, yeah. yeah. I reckon it's earlier. Yeah, and you, we've got three like that, haven't we? I reckon it's 50... I might, I mean, it might be 57, you know. Yeah, we've got three of those, haven't we? I reckon she's 57. Because right, yeah. yours, yours has got a That's just a guess. That's right. Yours will be the nearest thing. Then you've got a double. Yeah. Lovely. And we've got the cab over here. Of the 460. No, Universal 4. Yeah, that's on the market for a thousand pounds. <laughs> so that's how we put the engine in there. Universal out of a JCB Lodal 520 in 2009. So it's actually got more horsepower than the Leyland 262. So that's why we really put it on the mower, really, because it takes a bit of horsepower. She's still got the bow grab on. So this is the 1980. Nuffield, Leyland 262. So that was just a little comparison between the Leyland 262 and now the... What, do you, what are you calling the Universal now? The 4... Seven. The Nuffield 470. Rightly named by my dad. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and we'll see you next time.